workout that's a bad workout you just have to show up and everything else falls into place after that all right up and over if you've been joining us for the week i'm sure your muscles are feeling really sore by now don't worry we're gonna get a break soon let's stretch the quads to prevent injuries we have to stretch don't skip it hold it here that's it Hopefully you enjoyed our mobility and strength circuit today. All right, we worked on a different set of muscles and different sets of everything that's important, components of fitness. All right, I hope you will continue to join us. And let's move over to the other side. We're gonna take a short break. And when we come back, we're gonna move into one of our pillars of the WellFit Club. Let's hop in, roll up, roll the neck around. So I want you to grab some water. Don't go too far. I have a very important tip to give you. Let's breathe in and exhale. Clap yourselves and I'll see you right after the break. this one on ice. Yeah, no, man, Shy Look guys, here. listen, here. ladies, shy guys are sneaking. <laughs> My mother doesn't sneak. No. Sneak me. But you see me, I don't want no shy guys. You don't guy. want no shy guys? No. <laughs> Wait, it's the furthest thing from a shy guy. <laughs> no, but when I was, I would have been maybe 11 when this song came out. I don't know. Yeah. And it was... Me and Tessie used to put on full shows. Mm. Not just this song, to this whole album. It was an incredible album, Diana King. Mm. She's amazing. And literally, that song, we, no man, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder about my mother, you know. I'm yeah. like, Mom, why you had us dancing to these songs at 11? <laughs> I don't know. Can you imagine two little girls going, oh Lord, have mercy, mercy, mercy. I don't know. I, I hope uh, I'm not a shy guy, but this morning I won't be shy to say, when tea time come, pan up, pan up. We don't want no tea, pan up, pan up. Only the bread, pan up, pan up. We don't jump on it, up, pan up, pan up, pan up, pan up, pan up, pan up. It's what? International Bat Appreciation no Day. Yes. <laughs> Why? Thank, thank God you're here, everybody. Yeah. What? Bats have a terrible reputation uh, among among people because they're seen as a scary blood suckers that mm. will spread diseases. However, I, no, according to scientists, stop. let's just leave it there. <laughs> no, the uh, scientists say they really do spread diseases, and few species drink blood, Ugh. but rather eat fruit. My oh. fruit. My sour sap tree. Them love my sour sap tree. Me not gonna tell a lie. So tell yeah. the sour sap tree stop beer. A true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the population of bats has been depleting, and that is a problem because they contribute to the ecosystem more than people mm -hmm. think. International Bat Appreciation Day aims to show love for these flying mammals and teach people the importance of bats in today's world bats can eat as many as 1000 mosquitoes come up what wow. more come up what more a day wow <laughs> a thousand mosquitoes a day help preserve these crucial creatures by donating to a conservation volunteering or spreading awareness who would you rather have to deal with bats or mosquitoes. Ooh, you know, that's a question. That's a good question. A thousand mosquitoes are no sir. But one thousand bats? You know, you know, <laughs> I tell me, I think mosquitoes, when you find them, them ease off. Mm -hmm. I think them do this. Them mm -hmm. kinda ease up like mm -hmm. you find them and them ease off so mm -hmm. and then them come back. Mm -hmm. Cause in a second you hear the sound again. Yes, I try me now. <laughs> no, the worst thing in the world is when you're going to bed at night yeah. and you just hear the singing. <laughs> it's like no and you just know that unless you get rid of it it's gonna be there the whole night Me eat mosquito man that's why the fan mm -hmm. after just goes off i'm blown yeah. away yes yeah. woman i need you like never before why am i singing that song oh. because it's sisla colonge's birthday yes. miguel orlando collins born april 17th miguel orlando collins is known by his stage name sisla colonge 
or Sizzler is one of the most commercial and critically successful contemporary reggae artists and is noted for his high number of releases. Remember that album, um, what do we call it? Dry Cry, not Dry Cry. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. song is called Just One of Those Days. Is that name Dry Cry? No, no, no. Stop dry Cry. Even tears, even my heart, heart cry. But who cares? Yeah, you know? I always thought it was called Just Dry No, no. But happy birthday, Sizzler. See. So, a, a, a pumpkin canoe sails Australian reform. Okay? A pumpkin. What? I'm going to allow you to take that in for a moment. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin canoe. So, an Australian man took the largest That's pumpkin grown in the country this year and turned it into a canoe <laughs> that he paddled down the Tamut River. <laughs> the nearly 900 pound canoe named Tormund in honor of Game of uh, some Game of Thrones character, Tormund Giant's Bane, was grown by Mark Peacock and scored a blue ribbon at the Royal Easter Show. Uh, the pumpkin, the largest to win an award, Award at any Australian show this year captured the imagination of Peacock's friend Adam Farquharson. Farquharson asked Peacock if he could have the pumpkin before it became feed for farm animals. Uh, he hollowed out the pumpkin into a boat. Uh, he christened it Cinderella and paddled it for a mile down the Tamut River in New South Wales while about a thousand spectators followed we along from matter. shore. Uh, he said it was a fitting send-off that the community got to experience. Tormund the pumpkin one more time in a different It would have capacity. been more fitting if them to just make one pumpkin soup <laughs> and feed everybody. Remember that it's, it is it was used afterwards to feed animals. Yeah, so but it never went me to up. waste. <laughs> Listen, I just mentioned that, that, that I I'm know. hoping that the farmers were highlighted and I'm sure farmers watching saying, yes, IT. Make sure you make sure we are in the thing, and then they are saying, Look at that now. Yes. Look at the good, good yes. pumpkin. I but see I a find it amazing. It's a, it's a 900 pound pumpkin. I, I mean, okay, he used it on sale, but can we please just take a moment to realize there was a 900 pound pumpkin, pound. pumpkin in Australia? That's wild. That's crazy. Yeah. Whoa. Which is why I love Wednesday. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and get creative with your floors, walls, and all the spaces in between. Our knowledgeable sales consultants are happy to help create your beautiful finish for the latest designs in first quality porcelain, wood look, vinyl, mosaics, natural stones, and countertops. At Creative, you will get every tile you need for your residential or commercial projects. Creative Building Finishes, your one-stop shop for everything tiles. Visit our showroom at 5 Red Hills Road or call 876-929-5553. Get tiles, get creative. Cooking with love on CBM TV. And this week episode, for their yard. She wants a love, man. Look at that. Cooking, cooking with love. Now look at this. Ooh. A big chef, the sinner, guys. Mmm. What's that? To go on. Let me say this quickly. Mm -hmm. Perry, in Christ, you you are demonstrating boldly that you are representing Christ. Yes. So from them here in name, they know <laughs> what you're exactly about. What you're about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Perry in Christ is really, it was really birthed from a place of young people wanting to see someone like them who is bold, as IT would have mentioned, mm -hmm. just being really bold about what they believe in. Not many young persons in this day and age is willing to publicly um, testify as to what their stance is. We live in a time where the lines have become blurred for much of the part, and it's, it's very important, it's vital that young people have examples to look up to as it relates to you know, publicly defending and professing their faith. That's really what Preparing Christ is about. Um, as we'd have heard just now, um, I'm a gospel recording artist, and the sound is one that tends to attract young people, that, that youthful exuberance, that vibe. Um, that's just a part of the ministry. Another aspect of it, I believe the Lord has been leading me in that direction, is the whole matter of advocacy, student mm -hmm. leadership involvement, nation building. That is something that the Lord has been taking me through. And being the current Faculty of Social Sciences Guild representative at the UWI, 
Um, I'm responsible for advocating for the largest faculty on campus. So it's not just about the spiritual needs of students now, but God can take you out of the four walls of a church mm -hmm. and now say, hey, listen, Joseph was the prime minister of Egypt. Yes. David was a king. Mm -hmm. And so many other biblical characters have shown leadership skills even in the secular world. Mm -hmm. And as the current FSS rep, I would have been the bridge between administration and students as relates to academics as it relates to ensuring that they get a holistic experience as mm. pelicans. I'm mm. um, shout out to you, Ramon, <laughs> shout out yeah. to the current guild and mm. the incoming guild. Um, I, ran, I ran in the, the guild president election recently. Mm. It wasn't easy, mm. but the students voted and I am the guild president elect. Mm. Congratulations. Now, thank you. What, does, what, what, that, what that really means now, my dear friends, is that mm. a believer is at the helm of student leadership in the Caribbean. It's mm. a regional thing. Yes. Um, I, I, I humbly say that it's not going to be an easy task, but with Christ, all things are possible. I, I strongly believe in young people who believe in Christ to infiltrate spaces and to take up space. I'm excited to dive into some books that are more lighthearted. Yes. Sometimes I feel like I don't want anything serious. I just kind of want to have a good laugh. Um, and just kind of, you know, just, just dive into something a little different. So you have some recommendations for me today, right? Yes, I do. All right, I where do. do we begin? Okay, so we can begin with The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I've heard of this one. Um, yeah, so that book, it, um, it was pretty popular in the last two years. Mm -hmm. I actually saw it online. I saw the reviews and persons were talking about it a lot on social media. And I went to a friend's house and she had a copy. She was just laying down reading it. And I was like, okay, maybe I need to grab it. But my go-to books are self-help books. Mm -hmm. Same. So I said... Do I really want to try it? <laughs> I wasn't sure. I, and she said, listen, it's so good. She read it in two days. She started over. And I was like, okay, let me grab it. So <laughs> All right, what do we have next on the list? I think we have, Gabriel, we're good. Yeah, we're going to need some more wine. Gabriel, Stories that are funny, complicated, and true by Gabrielle Union. Yes, yeah, so Gabrielle Union is telling her life story. Um, I actually bought her first book. Mm. And then when I saw this one being advertised, I said, hmm, let me try. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it. And I think what she does is she tells her stories and she makes it a little humorous. So all her embarrassing moments, she finds humor in them. So there's one in particular where she used tanning lotion instead of sunscreen. Oh, and no. <laughs> <laughs> she, did, she got this nickname at her family reunion, Cheeto, uh -huh. because she got an orange hue, mm. you know. So she mm -hmm. finds humorous ways to tell her stories so I think that one is also pretty light and it's easy to read it's Gabrielle Union everyone knows Gabrielle mm -hmm. we love her mm -hmm. we're in her life on social media mm -hmm. so that one is pretty easy and as it well. sounds relatable which is also it nice is. it's nice it when is. we can hear about other people's mishaps or <laughs> yeah. mistakes uh, and they can make some kind they of make fun of so, it yeah, yeah they exactly. make light of it all right we have another book here um, and it's called is everyone hanging out without me um, and other concerns by Mindy Kay Kaylin, Kaylin, she's, yeah, a, she's an Kaylin. actress, right? She is. Yeah, she's, she's an actress. She's funny. She's hilarious. Yeah. So what Mindy does in this one, she's also telling stories, just recounting stuff from her life. And she... I love the name of it. Is everyone <laughs> hanging out without me? <laughs> yeah, so she uses, she focuses heavily on sarcasm throughout yes. this book. And that's what really makes it humorous. So she's telling dating stories, online dating, um, high school stories when she was a little, she was, she was chubby. That's mm -hmm. what she referred to herself as. So she's speaking about how um, her classmate, her best friend was 37 pounds and she was double her weight. But she, she speaks about it in a humorous way yeah. that makes it not feel overbearing and hard to read. It's mm -hmm. just really light. Hemophilia essentially is a rare bleeding disorder. Inherited, normally passed through the mother to the son. Oh, it's hereditary. Right? It's hereditary, right? Oh. So what normally happens in hemophilia is that the blood doesn't clot like a normal person mm -hmm. does. Mm -hmm. So for, for example, if you as a normal person should have a bleed, it probably takes two minutes to stop. For someone with hemophilia, it probably takes two hours or longer. Wow. Depends on your severity, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And hemophilia, we have two types of hemophilia, hemophilia A and hemophilia B, both having their respective cured protein that's needed to clot the blood. Hemophilia A, he pretty much needs factor eight. Mm -hmm. Hemophilia B, factor nine. Mm -hmm. So 
what happens with hemophilia is that you have a lot of bleeds in the joint, mm. Mm. In the joints and muscle. So what happens over time is that you get joint damage, wow. right? So your range of motions begin to limit. So your hand, normal person can flex. After a while, yes. your hand becomes fused, have a lot of pain. If you get a lot of bleeds in the joint, you right. develop what is called like a target joint. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much like, a, I would describe it like a volcano. The least thing happened, it erupts. It erupts. Yeah. It's a bleed. It, I see you highlighting the joint. So somebody always brushing teeth and the gum is bleeding. Yes. No worries? No, similar. It, it, Hemophilia, I would describe, is a, is a change of your lifestyle completely. Wow. Oh. So a lot of persons with hemophilia, they don't visit the dentist as often because oh. it, it's minor surgery or anything may cause a lot of bleeding. And mm. that happened to me. I should let you all know that mm. I also have hemophilia. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Yes. Hi, I'm Wayne. And I'm Tammy. And, and we, we are, are the Mitchells. You can watch Meet the Mitchells right here on CBN TV every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Yes, you guys don't want to miss it. We will be having new episodes every week, so definitely follow along with our family. Meet the Mitchell family. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> You're the sugar to my tea. Meet the Mitchell family. What's your story? What's your sign? So this year we're, we're, we're looking at robotics. And so we partnered with Zero, Zebra Robotics in Canada and um, we're bringing a robotics camp mm. in Jamaica in July. So it starts from July the 1st, July the 2nd to July the 30th, four weeks of course. It's stationed at two locations right now, which is Campion, not Campion College, just at Jamaica College and St. Hilda's School for Girls. And hopefully we will have um, um, Hillel and possibly um, um, another schools in the in the West be part of it. And the whole idea is to bring kids in and give them um, a four-week training course on robotics. They'll come out of there building something, and they will all inherit the project and a um, STEM, STEM certificate, <coughs> STEM certificate. The school itself will inherit all the actual equipment right. that comes in. To the, so they will retain the equipment, we will train the instructors at the school and train the kids as well. And the instructors will get a uh, STEM certificate as well. So, so give us some that. more information about the, the, the summer camp. Uh, it the it summer camp, it's, it's, it starts from the 2nd, to, uh, 2nd of July to the 30th of July. And the two locations that is at right now, that's a, is right now is Jamaica College right. and uh, St. Hilda's. So st students or kids from anywhere within the region where can, we can, get more can information. Where information we you can call JC or St. Hilda's, or you can call myself at mm -hmm. eight 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 zero three three zero one, or you can go online because everything can be done online. Mm -hmm. Registration fees, there's a, there's a fee that is paid and so you can do zjamaica slash uh, zjamaica.com slash robotics okay. and you'll get all the information from there. Yeah. Girl dad, if you were to do this for a year mm -hmm. without mommy, how would you manage? What, what would that look like I in your imagination? I God love. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, um, if I was supposed to do it for a year, it would, it would be something that I could adjust to. I mean, mm. I've been managing even because mommy is in production. So, you know, yes. mm, there are times when she's see. off yeah. and she probably might be off for a while and all that. But I think it's actually a good experience so far um, mm. based off what I've been doing and everything. I think I could manage for a year. Might be difficult. Oh, yes. Might yes. be difficult. Yeah. She's five. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. has quite a bit of a personality yeah. so far. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm no, glad you said that. You know, sometimes 
uh, it's so easy for us to see ourselves in our children who may be the same gender same as gender us. Gender. I'm sure. curious to know if you see some of yourself or some of your qualities <laughs> in him for laughing. Sure. Definitely see it. <laughs> my, my, my daughter is, she has a lot, a lot of personality and everything. Yeah. And based off, uh, just based off general observation, I see a lot of myself in her. Whoa. I mean, for example, her natural interest in sports. In sports? Really? Sports. No, she, girls are not interested in sports. Uh, like trust that. me, What's she your, is a. Watching <laughs> sports is boys' thing, that. No. No? Yeah, no she's, a, she's a big Don't football fan. I want to support Manchester United oh, and I'll sit and watch you. No, <laughs> no man, friend. you and that man. Hold on. I'm man trying City. to say. No, 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 we're not confused. No, 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 What's her name? Her name is Mila. Mila, you're Mila, Mila. my friend, a new friend, Man City. Liverpool <laughs> all the way here, Mila. Don't listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, but she she has that interest. I mean, even like generally at home when we're working out or anything like that, she has that just innate interest to want to participate. Mm. Um, another thing that I realized with her is that she has a keen interest when it comes to figuring out how things work. So she sits and will figure out a puzzle, mm, and a bit, things. yeah, man, mm. and she's a bit of a perfectionist. Like mm. if we're trying to trying to, to correct her in in how she's reading something, she literally won't be satisfied until she reads it fully through. Wow. Not within the breaks, yeah. not within the you know. She'll take the corrections, but then she'll start all over again on the page until she gets it correct. Yeah. We're going to be talking. Minute of someone and the house and them something get cavity and them something. They do actually, but it's not a typical, very common problem with the type of teeth that horses have. Okay, so oh. why, what, what dental care do they need? So pretty much the type of teeth that they have is what we call hypsodont teeth. So it's kind of similar, you know when you see bunny rabbit teeth growing all the way up and yes. out, right. where they continuously grow? Yeah. So horses do the same thing, but it's not just their front teeth, right? So it's those cheek teeth at the size as well. Oh. So sometimes it can get a bit sharp in a couple places either uh, against where the cheek rubs mm -hmm. or where the tongue sits. So what we call a buccal side where the cheek is or a lingual side where the tongue sits. Got it. So it can get sharp there. So it's really important that you actually want to remove those sharp points. Mm. That's what we generally do in our routine maintenance of their mouth. Mm -hmm. So it's called floating. So we use the blades and we take oh. a move. Wait, 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 do you remove the tooth? No, we don't actually remove the tooth, but what we'll do is remove part of the tooth. So like if it's overgrown or if it's hanging off, then we'll use the blade to kind of rasp it. So like if you have a fingernail, something mm -hmm. similar, where you have like a hangnail um, or like cuticle overgrowth, yeah. it's similar to something like that where we'll remove it. Got it, oh, so got it's it. Not Painful so when you visit them, it's really to like just yeah. maintain it, take down whatever has grown too long, whatever, yep, etc. You can actually mm -hmm. feel Look at this. right here. So it's clean. Oh. So mm -hmm. the inside part is oh, where the tongue is going to okay. sit. So this Ooh. piece right here. Hey, you know what? I was right here. So anything that feels sharp to your hand is going to feel sharp to our tongue. No, right? listen. Okay. Listen. So how did not manage yep. before we did do this? Because... <laughs> So, <laughs> oh, we get involved in that is no. That's actually a pretty good question, right? Yeah. So because of domestication, right? Ah, so diet changes, right? So it. horses are actually really domesticated compared to where they're coming from, like in the wild. Right. This is it now. Let's go again. Coffee. What's the deadliest insect in the world? Mosquito. May I tell us something? Yes. Else? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's worth a tie, so we need a tie break. So right all right, give me one more, one more. Okay. One more. Look here, we're tired. Four hours. We're tired. Come. Give me yeah, the name. We're tired. We're tired. We're tired. <laughs> hey, listen. I'll tell you what. How many feet are in a yard? Yes. Let me say, I'm really tired. I said, it's worth it. In my yard? In my yard. No. No, listen. No. No, I'm too much. How many feet are in a yard? <laughs> my yard. But how Not your yard. You know, Generally. No, you said your yard. No, you said your yard. I never heard in a my yard. yard. <laughs> my yard of, of 12 feet. All right. Actually, how, much, how many feet? Three are in feet in our yard. yard. Good job. No, no yard. Good like job. Who's missing a foot? Good Who's job. Who is missing a foot? Who is missing a foot? All right, one more. Give me one more. One more. I'm a kid. Yes, it is. One more. Ready, guys? Five, All right, come. five, four. Come bring your body down. <laughs> Copy, Jump. please. 
How many eyes does a bee have? Yes. Three. No. Four. No. Six. How so many? Two. A bee has two eyes. No. One. A, <laughs> a bee has five no, 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 eyes. No. I ate you. Can I please have the score no, for this TV break. game? No, you're lying. That's not true. I tell you, drop. Remember, all this is somebody passing. Money that you carried. Oh, God. Listen. You know, I love me. You know, I love you. I can't stop. Tell me, all this. Oh, God. And this week episode for their yard. She wants a lover, man. Look, look at that. Cooking? Cooking with love. Now look at this. Oh. A big chef listener, guys. Mm. No, sir. So go on. She wants a lover, man. for staying with us and you know what time it is you know what time it is it's time for final thoughts and i'm gonna start off with gianna first this morning with me yes, okay give me your final thoughts girl so thank you so much for coming by the way thank you, yes um i think that my final thought is gonna be what was said here more than coming from me but something that i think we all can benefit from mm -hmm. which is give yourself grace mm -hmm. um even sometimes we accept, but we kind of begrudgingly accept. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, okay, fine. Like, that's just what happened. But if we give ourselves grace and we're grateful for the experience, remember it's all about the journey and not the destination. So there are things we're learning along the way. And I think if we just give ourselves the grace, uh, we can get through it. Okay. And Gia? Um, I would say my final thoughts are it's really important to try to not judge yourself. Judgment, I find, is one of those things that is not very useful, but we all do it. Yeah. It's happened. You did the best that you could with what you had. It's really important at the end of the day to just meet yourself with grace mm -hmm. and that compassion and try not to judge your experiences. Just accept them. And then ideally, you can move through them. Absolutely. And I think, you know, if you use these experiences as a means to grow, and like you said, acceptance, grace, just use it as a means to grow. Think of it, learn from it, and move on. And that's a wrap for the round table today. Remember, guys, be good and be on purpose. Thank you. Life will pass me by if 